Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card you have is the pig. Um, so it looks like, uh, you know, whatever uh, job you're taking on right now, um, you know, they might be bringing on uh, a lot of finances. Um, on the other hand, you know, uh, the pig is about greed and you might be dealing with a bunch of people with that three of uh, spades over there. Uh, you know, a lot of conflict with people because they're behaving, you know, in a very nasty way. They might be, uh, you know, trying to uh, get one over on you uh, there. So you could be dealing with, you know, lots of greedy people, um, you know, giving you a lot of grief as well. Um, you know, having a lot of problems with them, having a lot of run-ins with these people uh, because of that three of spades. So there seems to be a little bit of conflict that is going on around you over there. And you might actually be thinking of, um, you know, uh, breaking uh, contracts and moving on. Now, you've got this three of swords, uh, three of uh, spades over here, which is about, uh, you know, uh, conflict or, you know, it's usually it's similar to the three of uh, swords. So some kind of issue going on. It could be some kind of legal problem that you're facing at this particular moment and there might be a judgment that's pending because you've got this king of spades over here which is like a, a judgment card and you got this bride this is about making you know breaking contracts or moving on uh, by yourself there uh, you know um, going and starting off somewhere alone or um, you know uh, following your own path following um, uh, working by yourself because you can see this bride is standing by herself there so you might be breaking contracts with a particular company because of all the conflict that is going on because you're dealing with people uh, that are not behaving very nicely uh, and um, you know um, you you might be waiting for this decision to come in so that you can move on you suddenly it suddenly looks like you're cutting ties with this particular job you've got this ten of diamonds over here and you've got the side over here so that whatever this job is that you're doing uh, it looks like you're cutting off and you're going to get some kind of settlement coming in over there and you're going to be moving on so you're waiting for some kind of legal um, problems to be sorted out on the legal on the legal side and you're waiting for some kind of decision to be um, to be made so that you can move on because you're dealing with less than savory people it seems and you it looks like you're ending this particular work cycle there now in the past you've got uh, this uh, fish with the uh, four of uh, hearts over here so it looks like you may have received some kind of offer that you are considering over there and it looks like it's an offer a job offer that's going to be paying you a lot of money as well something is very you know stressing you out uh, at the moment you've got this nine of uh, spades over here together with this rose which has got a lot of thorns so maybe you want to make a decision and accept this new offer that's coming because it's paying you a, a lot more but then there's some kind of obstacles or problems because these, this rose has got a lot of thorns on it so some kind of niggly details that are going on over there that are, is causing a little bit of upset on your part and causing some anxiety as well with that nine of spades. Now going into the future, so maybe you do want to end situations, but you know maybe they're making it a little bit uh, difficult for you to actually cut ties and move on. So going into the future, you've got the six of hearts over here and together with this house. So the house, you know, generally signifies uh, maybe you're spending a lot of time at home or you're going to be, you know, taking a little bit of a break and spending some time alone, uh, a lot more time with family, it seems, uh, with that six of hearts, which is the six of cups. But the six of hearts is also about an offer being made that is really, really nice. And you might really, uh, you might be relocating, buying a new home and moving on to accept this new job offer. So whatever it is after this decision is made, it looks like you're going to move on by maybe buy a new home and uh, accept a new offer that comes in with that six of hearts uh, definitely a solution is coming to whatever problems you're facing over there uh, and uh, whatever this new job is that you're going to be doing it's going to be working with a group of people as well so the key shows that you know you will find the answer the solution will come to you and whatever this job is it might involve a lot of uh, collaboration a lot of networking a lot of travel as well because that is four of uh, um, clubs is almost like the um, four of rods and this is about working with people, celebrating, maybe moving home, buying a new home as well, re-establishing. So you, it looks like, you know, you're moving on, accepting this offer and maybe even buying yourself a new place to stay as well. But certainly whatever problems you're dealing with, the answers will come. This might be the key to that house. Uh, so maybe buying a new home and, uh, you know, you this is the key to that, that new home. Uh, that you're buying but definitely some kind of legal decision being made maybe new contracts or you leaving that that old contract breaking that contract uh, and moving on so those are the energies for those two weeks
So I'm going to draw some cards from the uh, Sorceress Tarot. Okay, so the bottom of the deck is the uh, full cards. You are starting afresh. It looks like you are cutting ties with this old job. You're ending this old work situation and you're going to be moving on. You can see this man's packed his little handkerchief over there or his little pack and he's got it and he's going to be moving on. Whatever this job was, uh, you know, whatever situation you're leaving uh, was really, you know, not good for you because it's brought you down to your knees. It's aff affected your self-confidence. Maybe this new role that you're taking on now or what you want to do next is to do some further study, uh, you know, do some further training or even do some further research and make a brand new start with this full card. So, uh, you know, whatever it has, whatever's happened has been, you know, it seems like it was quite a nasty situation and it looks like, you know, uh, you know, it looks like there was an element of loss that came with this particular uh, situation and it looks like you've had, you are going to make a brand new start or you're starting afresh somewhere else. Now, uh, what's going on with you? There you've got the uh, Page of Swords and you've got uh, the Five of Pentacles. So, um, this Page of Swords looks like there's, may, you may have been dealing with some really uh, nasty person that caused all these problems. But the Page of Swords is also about receiving legal news. And, you know, this, whatever has happened over the years actually even caused loss. So, this is financial loss. So, maybe you were let go from this job. This could have been, uh, you know, some kind of uh, legal a way in which you had to leave the situation so it's caused you to feel very tied up you've got financial loss you're feeling very exposed feeling very very vulnerable and like i said this man is sitting on his on you know he's on the floor really so it's brought you right down it's really disempowered you and it's really caused a lot of financial loss it's tied your hands um you know it's made you feel very exposed and it's been some some kind of really nasty situation it was some you know whatever news you know the page of swords generally brings that legal news in brings in that information uh, you can see there's a lot of blood on this card as well so some kind of really awful uh, news coming in for you over there on that work front over here and you know there's a lot of loss because it's sitting next to that five of pentacles over here and you can see it's um, you know it's almost like you had to sacrifice a lot and you've got a lot of loss that went on as well so not you know whatever that news is whatever that legal news is was really not good um, so you've got the um, this justice card over here. So there's some kind of legal issue that you have been dealing with. Uh, you know, it looks like um, you know that the options were weighed. Whatever the situation was weighed, uh, it looks like a decision was made with this justice card over here. And you've got that king of swords. So this generally, you know, this all of this is speaking about a legal decision. So, uh, you know, there was some kind of court case that happened, uh, you know, there was a judgment that was passed and you received that news and it doesn't look like it was really good news as well because there's so much of red blood um, on this particular card. It's affected your stability, you may have lost a home as well with this particular card and it's definitely led to a lot of financial loss, a lot of loss of assets. So there's something that has happened to you that has caused quite a crisis in your life, quite a drama and has led to lots of loss so that meant you have to start a fresh start from scratch again. Now you are working pretty hard to manifest things over there. You're trying to get everything sorted out, trying to get you know, maybe all your paperwork sorted out. You're trying to get your life back in order again. And you were working pretty hard to get that. So this is trying to get your, you know, everything back into sync again and working pretty hard uh, on doing it. So he's got his hands stretched out, showing that he's been very, very hands-on at whatever he's doing. But And he's wearing this really red cloak. So he's being very, very proactive in whatever he's doing. So you are working pretty, pretty hard uh, trying to uh, get yourself back on track again. Now you've got this page of cups, uh, so this is pretty good. This is some good news coming in about an offer. So whatever this loss is, if you've lost this job and you've ended up losing everything due to whatever judgment was passed and you have to start afresh, it looks like an offer is coming in. Now you can see this fool is uh, sitting with uh, the fool card. This is man is sitting with uh, these books. And the page of uh, cups is also about a new offer coming in, but it's also it could also be an offer for study as well. Uh, something that you can build yourself up on 
Um, so you can see there's a cathedral in the back over there or the, you know, um, something that's very strong foundations. So it looks like you might have to go back to studying or learning or retraining as well. Now the card below the Fool card is that Five of Cups. So you can see uh, being very disappointed uh, with the Fool card, feeling very let down, a lot of regret coming in as well, a lot of loss that comes in with that Five of Cups. But also this child is sitting, uh, you know, with books. So you will need to do some studying. Both these cards have books in them. You will need to do some studying or further training uh, in order for you to get, you know, to pick yourself out of this situation. And there is that offer that comes in for you to be able to do that. So whatever new job or post that you're starting off from scratch at, there's this, uh, you know, um, there is that opportunity for learning or further training. Now you're going to have to cut that past and move on. This is the death card. You are leaving behind the situation. You've got two ending cards of you. Uh, you know the full card is zero. It's being. It's almost like being in no man's land, being in a place of nowhere, and maybe that's where you're stuck at at the moment. Uh, you're having to you to make that uh, you know clean break from it. You are very worried because you know he's got the hourglass in his hand, and you feel as though time is uh, slipping away from you as well. But you need to cut out that and move on. So whatever the situation is, there's a clean break. You have to turn your back and walk away from it. There's no way that you can go back to it. And since he's su surrounded by a lot of ice and snow over there, you, you probably are feeling very isolated, very left out in the cold, very unsupported right now. And you are waiting for things to change. So you've made big sacrifices over here. You're trying to see things from a different perspective. Uh, but there seems to be a lot of loss as well. Because this man is also hanging there and, you know, practically naked. Uh, and you're feeling very, very vulnerable right now. Uh, so there's some kind of sacrifice. There's some kind of loss. You know, you feel as though you've been very victimized in this particular situation as well. So whatever it was, it was pretty nasty. It's a very crisis moment almost in your life over here. And there, had le there was like... You know, there was legal implications. It seems like you try to stand up for yourself over there. You've got this lion on his uh, chest over there. But, you know, whatever this judgment is, it's been passed. It may not have gone in your favor as well because it seems to have led to a lot of loss. So now you are looking at your financial status quite carefully over there with that Queen of Pentacles. And you're trying to do, uh, you know, a very, very uh, objective assessment of what is going on over there and looking at what you've accumulated and at what you have, uh, you know, in order for you to move forward. Now going into the future and the final outcome, you've got that Strength card over there. Uh, you've got the Seven of Cups over here and you've got that Six of Swords. So the strength card, you're just going to have to stand up. So maybe people are staying, saying things about you and they are not true. You can see this man's fighting an alligator over there or a crocodile. So they are saying things that are pretty nasty and it's pretty, pretty negative uh, as well. He's got that sort of truth in his hand, trying to get control of that situation. And maybe you just have to, you know, defend yourself, persevere. And, you know, uh, it's just going to be you standing up for yourself and being very, uh, you know, believing in yourself that's going to help you. Um, you know, sort this problem. On the other hand, you know, you, you could feel as though you're, you're equally matched with this person and you're not making any kind of inroads even if you fight with them with that strength card. It seems like there has been loss. You've got this card uh, toppled over with the, with the contents of it spilled out. So, you know, there is loss that cannot be regained. And the wand is lying on the floor, so it's affected your ability to manifest anything new or even uh, move out of the situation. So it's almost like you're stuck in some kind of battle over there, and there might be a legal battle that you're stuck in at the moment. So you're considering all your options with that Seven of Cups over there, so you're looking at every possibility, every possible form of uh, you know, getting a new job, a new work. So these are those um, you know, dwarves that are trying to um, you know, uh, work. Um, you, you're looking and trying to make plans for the future. You're a bit confused and you're very stuck right now. So right now, you know, things seem to be very much at a standstill with both these cards. You're trying to make plans with, for the future, but you really, uh, you know, you can't really see beyond what has happened right now. So you will move out of the situation. You will be able to turn your back from it and, and move on. And it looks like whatever the study or whatever this course, and this seems to be the route you're going to have to take, maybe retraining or further training is going to be the way that you're going to get liberation or you're going to be able to change your lot in life. Turn your back on whatever has happened, even here, turning the back on difficult situations. You can see his back is to the skulls and here all the drama behind and moving forward. Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, study uh, the, 
this is about you know focusing on work and maybe focusing on career there's a book open over there so it looks like you might need to retrain to actually get out of the situation like I said there's this offer coming in for you there maybe there is an offer that's got training attached to it uh, and you can see over there going back and maybe training as well even here with this full card in order for you to get yourself out of this particular situation so uh, you know coming through quite a, a difficulty here I'm just going to draw some cards from Fairy Tarot. And the first card that's cropped up is the Strength card. So you're going to have to, you know, just draw whatever reserves you have and work with that. And the grace and inner strength is needed to overcome this challenge. The power of kindness and forgiveness and time to embrace how wonderful you are. So both these Strength cards are, you know, you're going to have to really dig deep and hang in there and persevere because you're going to be able to get out of the situation by just, uh, you know, force of character, just willpower is going to get you out. Now you're letting go of everything because you've got that ten of spring over there. So, you know, there was a lot of problems and, um, you know, you're going to have to ask for some help from people and all work and no play being weighed down by too many responsibilities. Now, even in this card, you can see all the drama behind her and she's walking away. So this is a situation that you will be able to move away from. You leave everything behind and, you know, if you need help um, from people around you, you need to actually actively ask for help. Now, there's somebody coming in to give you some kind of help. Uh, well, on the other hand, this is the king of summer. This is you. You could be asking somebody for some kind of support or advice. On the other hand, this could be you, uh, you know, uh, rising above the situation. Um, this is about excellent advice that comes from the heart, getting um, involved in uh, cultural or creative endeavors. Now, with the king of summer, this is uh, the card for cancer. And this is about getting on top of your emotions. Don't let them run away with you. This is also about maybe accepting some kind of offer, some kind of advice uh, that is very necessary in order for you to move forward. Now, the King of Summer is also about teaching. So you might be taking on a role where you're a mentor or a teacher. And this might be the new role that you're going to be taking on. So maybe this offer that comes in, comes in for you as a teacher, as a mentor, as opposed to you being uh, the student. Uh, so, you know, maybe in a brand new beginning, and maybe working with children as well. You can see with that five of cups, there's a child over there. Maybe with people that are younger than you and imparting a lot of knowledge. And maybe this is the new path that you have to follow. The hangman says, look at things from a different perspective. But it also may be mean that instead of uh, you know, doing what you've always done, maybe doing something quite, quite different. So you might actually go ahead and take on a role as a mentor or as a teacher where you can impart your skills to other people. You can see there's the book there, um, as opposed to you going back to school and retraining. So it could be either way. You'd be taking on a, a new job where you are required to uh, retrain or maybe doing a job where you are going to be training people up. But it's certainly going to lessen your burden and lessen your load. And you know, I think this is going to be a good thing for you. It's going to get you out of all this conflict and make you allow you to recover from all the loss and problems that you've gone through. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. Thank you for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.